Hi guys, it's Skinboot here, and today what I'm going to be bringing you guys is a No Man's Sky video. And in today's video, what I'm going to be diving into is some speculation regarding the contents of the next update. Supposedly the largest and arguably most important No Man's Sky update we will ever receive. Now, I previously made a video looking into what I would personally like to see added in with this update, but that was just more of a wish list. So today we're going to be using actual facts and common sense in order to determine what is likely. My discord server and Patreon, yes I'm a sellout now, will be in the description of the video. So if you want to check that out then please do feel free. But with all of that said and done, please do sit back and relax. Let's get started. So as stated in my previous video, it's always good to look at what little information we've actually been given regarding the content of Next. Now, much to our surprise, we have nothing. However, what we do know is that this update will be the largest one yet. So this allows us to shape our expectations accordingly. Now, if Next is set to be the big chunky daddy of all updates, the key of all No Man's Sky content, then it's very reasonable to assume a lot of what we will see in this update will either be of extremely high complexity and quality or high quantity, more than likely both actually. Either way, this update won't just be like the Pathfinder update with like one major addition and little extras added in. You can argue this point as much as you want, looking at you blind haters, but it's simply not the case. So we with that out of the way, what is actually likely to be in next? Well, as stated, we don't know for sure, but we can definitely make educated guesses. And the first port of call is obvious multiplayer. I think right now it's fairly safe to say multiplayer is going to be a big old focus in next. Some people like this, some people don't, but why actually would multiplayer? be a focus. Well, to put it bluntly, multiplayer is something Hello Games said themselves they were going to expand upon in the future. We know that it's definitely on their list and likely very near the top of things to do. Also, multiplayer in its current state is super bare bones, like the list of stuff they can add to improve it is honestly endless. Multiplayer is also the most bare bones feature in No Man's Sky right now. Think about it. Exploration, has been overhauled many times, ship combat has been overhauled, story and general gameplay have, yet multiplayer has not. It's one of the largest aspects that hasn't yet been touched, so it makes sense for it to be a focus when the rest of the game got a major facelift with 1.3. Also, due to the super extended development time of Next, it's likely to assume that something big needed overhauling, or more likely, loads of things were overhauled and this is why they had to spend longer on it. And what needs the most time to be fully fleshed out? I'd say multiplayer. It makes the most sense. This, of course, isn't to say that multiplayer is going to be the only addition to this update. We know Hello Games always has more in store for us. So if you aren't a big multiplayer fanatic in No Man's Sky, then don't lose spirit. There's still going to be stuff which you will like. Also, Sean said it himself. There will be lots of surprises that come bundled with next. So even if multiplayer is a part of it, we will also get additions we never expected. So when talking about the multiplayer aspect, of No Man's Sky and how it can be improved, I think it's safe to say we will be seeing the following. Better syncing of worlds, a player model, better interaction, more players in one space, maybe joint missions, and my personal favourite idea, joint base building. Oh, and also joint joint smoking, that'd be pretty calm. The whole syncing issue right now is probably one of the biggest focuses which I think Hello Games will be focusing on, and it's also one of the biggest gripes with the community. I want to see other players' actions real time, and I also want to see animations for whatever they're doing. If they get chased by a predator, man wants to see what he sees. If someone is going to be mining or building, I want to see this fully fleshed out. I just don't want to see this little Rick and Morty fart cloud floating around. I actually want to see a little man in a suit or maybe a character of your choice if there's some element of customization. There is a lot with the general visuals that can be 
be proved upon. With this likely being a massive overhaul, this could explain the long development time of the update, as I can imagine this isn't something they could slap together in a few months. It seems like there is a lot of back-end issues that Hello Games are probably spending a lot of time on, specifically how multiplayer works with the engine and possibly the limitations of it right now, which might explain why it's quite bare bones we we don't really know perhaps there will be a engine overhaul to allow for this multiplayer and as a bonus allows for even more crazy shit thereby making next the biggest update yet so with the elephant in the room quietly put to sleep what else is like <laughs> that's really bad what else is likely to be in next well we have the bog standard content as in more biomes maybe some more high res textures cloud rendering tech the whole bug fix of forests not appearing properly, possibly cut features, but what about big shit? You know, big shit that people actually beat off to. Well, call me crazy, but I think we're going to get a complete overhaul of everything. Exploration and specifically fauna is always going to be a huge part of the No Man's Sky experience. And although exploration in general has definitely been improved over the past year, animals are, are another story. They need a shit ton of work. There is most definitely a chance that new sounds may be in this update for animals as there were talks of some kind of sound effects team member being hired for hello games maybe old cut models like the ones rayrod has brought back in his mods that could make a return and a general overhaul of the ai procedural generation and the uses of animals and after all it does just make sense animals are extremely lacking right now in just about every department so if a focus isn't on them then Hello Games are making a big old juicy mistake. And the final thing which I believe is coming in next is, well, cities. This has been spoken about a shit ton recently. I haven't actually touched on it, but this has been a very, very big request in the community right now, and there is also a little bit of evidence to actually back it up. So basically, a bit of time ago now, there was a Twitter account showing a Hello Games programmer who has a lot of experience in procedurally generating dungeons and other kind of like cities or civilizations, things like that, and the community is sucking the absolute nuts of this idea bone dry. People are thinking that because Hello Games now have a procedural expert in dungeons and possibly buildings, so maybe cities, then cities or civilizations or dungeons or whatever you want to call it will be a feature in next. And to be honest, I don't even think the concept of generated cities or dungeons is ludicrous. In fact, I think it just may be one of the surprises Sean mentioned recently. Civilizations would be an absolute crazy addition to No Man's Sky, but if they are done right. Also, if they could be made somehow to the complexity of Star Citizen, then just fuck me. They have the people to do it. They have a long ass time to work on it. Why can it not be likely? Of course, you can bring funding, experience, time, whatever into this, but there is definitely a chance, even if it might be small. But with all of that said and done, I want to know what you guys think. So please do feel free to put your thoughts on what you think will be in the next update in the comment section of the video down below. Thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you guys enjoyed it, then please do feel free to leave a like on it. And if you guys could also subscribe to MZK, then that'd be absolutely fantastic. And as always, I will see you guys on my next video. This is Skimboot, signing out.